So today I want to show you this Ginkgo Biloba tree. I've been growing this tree from uh, just a stick, just a tree that uh, was uh, in a nursery center. Uh, not a bonsai nursery, but it quite needs uh, a bit of a pruning. Uh, Ginkgo Bilobas are pretty tricky. They're not a simple uh, bonsai to make, but they're beautiful. They, yeah, they got this, uh, these big leaves, but they have the, their charm, you know? They're, they're just, I love them, and they, they are so sturdy. The only problem with the Ginkgo Bilobas is that uh, you only get about two prunings, two hard prunings, okay? Uh, serious prunings per year. Uh, this tree is still in development, but as you can see, we cannot see any of the of the structure of the trunks. So let's let's prune it a little bit. Okay, so here we go. As usual, I'm gonna start with the top, and little by little, I will be closing in. But I need to, to propagate the cuttings. So. So let's go. <laughs> Without uh, further explanations, let's just get to the pruning process. I'm gonna start by reducing it. I'm gonna cut some leaves also. Let's prune this a little bit shorter. I'm looking for buds because I want to leave uh, uh, at least two buds. Also another problem with uh, with Ginkgo Bilobas is that they've got those uh, very very far apart buds, okay? And that's a little bit of a problem, but in time everything gets done, okay? With time everything will be better and better. So we're closing in and I'm trying to leave the, the lower branches a little bit longer, of course. Let's turn it around a little bit. Yeah, I, I cannot see anything because of the very, very many leaves. So I need to prune some of them. So I need to, to shed some light on the inside so the, the inner part can, can get some, some light and, uh, and just grow better and better. Don't worry about this, uh, let's say, partial defoliation. It's, it's fine, it's okay. You see here, I've got a branch here that's growing on the inside. I don't need that branch, so I will take it off. Okay. And little by little, we are starting to, to see into the structure of the tree. Okay. So as I was saying, you only get to, to prune it uh, in the winter, okay, when uh, it has no leaves. And about now, about uh, like May, June, it's, uh, it's just fine. The buds were starting to, to swallow, so this is why I decided to, to prune it. 
otherwise uh, otherwise I need it to just wait for the the next grow okay to emerge uh, to grow and to to stop uh, that uh, push you know that uh, growth push so this is why I, I need to do this now okay so I'm starting to see the tree this also this is damaged I'm gonna take it off all right here on the inside just like that and we're almost almost done here I think I have a, a little bit of a, of a problem it's a little bit too tall and uh, I, I need to, to make it more compact so I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm thinking of cutting it back because I've got a bud here and I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna cut it back a little bit also this is growing you see this is growing on the inside and I cannot see the, the trunk I think I need to remove this one try to use my concave cutters and just oh yes as you can see this is already better okay I'm, I'm gonna use some cut paste there of course and here at the top yeah I'm gonna prune it I'm gonna cut it shorter here Just like that. This also be gone. Be gone. By pruning all of these leaves, the inner buds, okay, get light shining onto them and they get a chance to grow. This is good because the tree is going to get ramifications. <coughs> if the leaves just uh, keep shadow, shadowing the inner buds, they will not get enough light. So also by removing the leaves from, uh, from the buds, okay, you kind of uh, not trick the tree, you can't not force it. But yeah, you kind of kind of force it to uh, get those buds working and uh, just uh, emerge already. So this is how my tree looks now. Doesn't look pretty good, but I can now see the structure, and it will push back, and hopefully, will get more and more ramified. I told you this tree is still under construction. It's it's still in uh, in development. We are still working on structure okay so uh, I'm not pruning it to look good now but I'm pruning it to look good in the future uh, this is how you develop uh, bonsai trees uh, if you always keep pruning them to look good in that uh, in that moment okay in that time of the year uh, you will develop them very 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 slowly so I'm gonna take a very good look at it and maybe I will prune it some more I've got this problem here I think this is a little bit too long <laughs> I'm gonna think about it because I don't have too many buds on it so also okay you see I kind of uh, need to uh, not to get myself uh, get myself confused with the looks okay you always uh, get confused and you need to push back you need to pull back okay just let it be 
okay it will uh, it will grow it will ramify and with the next pruning you can fix some problems don't fix them now okay so like this if i i don't have any buds here any more buds i'm not going uh, even though this is too long right now i'm gonna leave it like that okay so little by little always remember little by little by little will grant you the success